Hey, hey, hello, aloha, konnichiwa. My name is Jonas Klaasson. I'm an artist. I uh, live in Freshwater outside of Sydney in Australia. And I'm here now at Paul Gallery visiting Hawaii. I have been working as an artist for probably 10 years as like a full-time occupation. And I have been trying to surf since 95. I started surfing in Sweden, which is where I grew up. And it's like really cold. You have like thick rubber, booties, gloves, so very different from where I'm visiting now. And, uh, but I was drawn to surfing as soon as I saw it in a, in a magazine. It's probably actually a magazine showing pipeline, um, which I'm still too scared to surf. What inspires me is a lot of things, but I really get really inspired in nature. For example, driving here from uh, Honolulu up to the North Shore, like, you know, seeing the beautiful green Hawaii mountains with the sort of rain scattering down and the lights hitting the clouds and the mountains. So, you know, straight away I feel like, oh, I want to try to paint that in watercolor or, you know, that inspires me. Sitting in the lineup in the surf really inspires me. I surfed yesterday, first surf ever on the North Shore because every time, I, every time I've been visiting here, it's been like 15 foot and I haven't dared putting my toe in the water. So I surfed Turtle Bay yesterday, it was really fun. Um, and yeah, I got inspired just sitting there, you know, watching, watching the nice green mountains from, from the water. And you know, you also when you surf, you get a lot of time to sit and reflect in the water and you're in a different element. So I think it sort of heightens your senses and you kind of take in the surroundings better. Also get very inspired by uh, animals and my partner, Stephanie, she's a, she's a wildlife exotic vet, so she takes care of exotic animals, so get really inspired by that. And now we have a one-year-old and, you know, having a family that's really sort of changed my life a lot, like it does to everyone, I guess. And so also inspired by that whole journey and, um, yeah, tying in animals, my love for animals and water and surfing and nature. That's, that's what I try to do with my art. So this latest re uh, exhibition is called Refraction, and refraction means when, when light hits the water, it uh, sort of bends and slows down. And I, th I thought it was a really cool metaphor for uh, how life and you know, your breathing and everything slows down when you're entering the water. Even if you're swimming or surfing or you know, sitting in the lineup, it just calms me down. So I think a lot of times you get clarity of things that maybe were stressing you out on land and you go for a surf and then all of a sudden this like obvious idea the solution pops up so refraction is kind of trying to capture that and then also incorporate how small we are as humans entering the element of the ocean so I have brought uh, one uh, that's called East Coast Australia which is where I've painted uh, kind of a dream classic surf trip up and down the east coast of Australia, which is like a stretch where I lived for the last 20 years. And I, you know, I absolutely love that place. So I tried to incorporate there with, or it's one of the first pieces I did with, where I did watercolor and then combined it with my uh, ink and ink pens. Um, and trying to tell the story of the feeling you have when you've had a good day with friends and family, you've surfed, so you got a little bit physically exhausted and you're content trying to show you know the feeling of having had a full sort of day outside with friends and family you're really content you had something to eat and you know sun setting and you're just content on all the levels so i use a lot of different techniques i mean i use watercolor ink pens and acrylics and i also tend to you know manipulate a lot of stuff in on the computers and sometimes i do pure graphic works but some of the originals I brought for the refraction exhibition, I stepped back a bit in times and started doing, you know, watercolor with ink pens again, which I probably did last a couple of years ago, so it was really fun. And then, so with those, those I kind of laid down the sketch with pencil first on the paper. It's like really rough to sort of have the outlines of where the watercolors are gonna go. And then I do all the watercolors, dry that, and then I do use ink pens and ink brushes like on top to make it sort of pop because it pops better when it's, it sits on top. Uh, my favorite paper is called Arches 300 GSM Cold Press and it's kind of 
thick and it's got a really nice texture to it that makes I, I really like when the when the paper texture comes through. Well, there's a lot of cool artists to be inspired by, but what came to mind is a Swedish watercolorist that his name is Lars Lerin, and he um, he paints really big and he paints a lot of sort of moody skies, and I got really inspired by him. I actually sort of was mostly doing black and white work, and one time visiting my family in Sweden, my mom took me to his, uh, his museum or, or gallery and showed me that exhibition, and we were there for hours, and it kind of made me get really inspired to try watercolors and sort of incorporate color in my work, and uh, yeah, so he's my, one of my favorites. So my favorite museum is actually Lars Lerin's own museum, which is called Sandgrund, which is in a place in Sweden called Karlstad, which is like kind of a smallish town, so maybe a couple of hours from Stockholm. So I think art for me is something that makes you stop and think and have some sort of emotion. Like it doesn't have to be positive emotion, it doesn't have to be happy, or, but something that makes you sort of stop and experience and feel something that you didn't feel before you saw it. So Hawaii is a very cool and special place. I've been really looking forward to going here. It was 2019 I was here last time and also had an exhibition at Polo. Um, it's, it's got a lot of, I mean growing up being really into surfing and you know North Shore is essentially the, you know, the epicenter of surfing. I've, I've read so much about Hawaii and seen so many pictures and so you know just driving the stretch here this morning from Turtle Bay to here it's just it feels like you're driving like sort of an iconic sacred grounds in a way like driving through by me uh, you know I watched the Eddie event like online a couple months ago wherever it was and I don't know it's like it's got a really special feeling and cool energy here and also the I feel like the backdrops when you're in the lineups with a with the green the green mountains and all the weather seems to like you know move a lot here and I feel like the sunsets are kind of like it's like you turn off the knob turn on the knob like on the sun like everything is a little bit sort of wilder and more intense it's uh, yeah it's very cool I would just want to thank everyone that's sort of I guess into my art and letting me pursue this and do this I feel like it's it's like you know very it's like a dream to me to be able to create art that I that I love creating and just like and be able to you know make a living on that and travel the world come here to Hawaii it's kind of you kind of have to pinch yourself it's it's kind of weird and and amazing at the same time so you know I yeah I just want to say thank you <laughs>